I want to quickly talk to you about the best web design tools, graphic design, all kinds of design that you will need if you want to uh, design a website. So here's a review I want you to pay attention to. The first tool I want to share with you is called ClickUp. And ClickUp is kind of cool because it allows you to easily annotate images. You're able to leave or assign comments to your design team. So the cool thing is that if you are in the market for an all-in-one design management tool that basically streamlines your design process, aids the sharing of feedback, and maximizes your team's resources, then ClickUp, in our view, is the web designer tool that you really need right now. And the cool thing is that with this platform, you can view all of your design projects, track and improve your design team's efficiency, you can streamline the design process and integrate all of your favorite design tools. So talking about centrality, talking about efficiency, this is really fantastic. So ClickUp uses its robust project management features and combines them with the ultimate project collaboration tools to keep design teams on the same page. Fantastic. So when we, when, so you have a, a lot of great features, for example, everything view, enabling to viewers to uh, see everything regardless of where they live in the hierarchy. You have space, folder, and list where design teams and departments can be organized. You have customizable tasks along with the nested subtasks and checklists for the ultimate project workflow. You have real-time editing for efficient team collaboration. You have PDF and image annotation features. You have ClickUp automations, which really helps you save time by using pre-built automation recipes, including 50 to 75 actions, triggers, and conditions. You have mind maps. Those mind, map, those mind maps are really great because they help you build beautiful visual outlines from a blank canvas or by existing tasks. You have hundreds of templates for, for teams to use. You have easy integration with over 1,000 of your favorite tools. It's just fantastic. So in terms of pros and cons here, pros, ClickUp supports over 1,000 integrations, free training, 24-hour support, high-level customization. You have an offline mode that allows you to get work done without an internet connection. Fantastic. You also have the ClickUp mobile apps that lets you take your work anywhere you go. What about the cons? Well, the high customization can be overwhelming for first-time users, so you have a, a steep learning curve here. In terms of pricing, I want you to look on the screen right now. Here is the pricing for ClickUp as of the date of this show. By the way, boss, welcome back to the show. Make yourself comfortable. It's really a pleasure to have you here. We are going to have a wonderful conversation today. Another tool I want to share with you here is uh, Figma. So when you think about Figma, I want you to think about an all-in-one design platform that connects everyone in the design process so that everyone on the team is better able to deliver product faster. Its web design software is excellent for prototyping and design systems. We love that. So once you are signed up on Figma, you have you have access to uh, the company's associated tool, FigJam, and uh, the, the letter acts as an online whiteboarding tool from where design teams can collaborate and map out design process. So in hindsight, it would appear that Figma was built for the future of the web. It's just fantastic. So you have uh, essential features such as uh, API animation, CAD tools, collaboration tools, commenting notes, you have data import, export, you have design management, design templates, you have single sign-on, you have image editing, performance at testing, usability testing, fantastic. And uh, I want you to look right now on the screen. Here is the pricing for, for a Figma as of the date of this show. One thing I need to say also when it comes to the pros of Figma, you have endless spot, endless capabilities. Figma can be used to create app prototypes and mockups for the product team. You have, you have a very lightweight product. You have lots of widgets that you can use to run memorable workshops. You have a support for a collaborative design environment. In terms of the cons, you have a steep learning curve and there is no mobile app as of right now. Next, you have Canva. So Canva is really good. Canva offers web designers an unparalleled variety of graphic categories and thousands of professionally made templates that should get even an amateur started. And with the Canva website builder, it is a breeze to create one-page websites for events, portfolios, retail sites, and more. And the best part is it's free to use. Additionally, the online platform is hosted in the cloud and can be accessed from any location using any device with an internet connection. So really good. You can use Canva either on a web browser or as a downloadable app for Mac, PC, Chromebook, iOS, or Android. So if you're looking for a web design tool for quick image and video editing or making a one-page site, then Canva is the tool for you. If you desire audience engagement on the site you have built, 
then you also can also deploy Canva Insights, which provides you with basic analytics. It's just fantastic. I want you to look on the screen right now. Here is a pricing for Canva as of the date of this show. By the way, boss, I want to quickly remind you of today's topic. We are having a conversation about the top 10 best web design software tools. Next, you have WordPress. So WordPress is kind of cool because uh, it has earned quite a, the, the, the reputation as the go-to solution for web design software by powering almost half of the entire uh, of the entire internet. So users have the option of either WordPress.org or WordPress.com, which are both based on the same core web design software tools with only a few key differences. So the former is a self-hosted platform, meaning that you will be hosting your website using a hosting provider service. On the other hand, WordPress.com is hosted by Automatic. So in hindsight, WordPress stands out as the best free blog design software for beginners. So you have features such as augmented reality, custom design, voice search, accessibility mode for widgets, custom content types, you have integrated news and blog posting, you have managed website security, you have support for PHP 8, and, and you have the dark mode. Fantastic. And uh, so in terms of pros, it is relatively cheap. You have beginner friendly and easier to get started on. Websites are built with WordPress. They, they work really well on, on different devices, highly modular with thousands of plugins and themes. Users can build almost any type of websites and WordPress is designed to be responsive right out the box and you have an SEO friendly by default. And, and uh, you also have uh, Adobe, the next one. So Adobe is kind of cool. Now, while relatively new in the web design software landscape, Adobe has become a natural choice for graphic and web designers. So this web design mockup and the prototyping tool allow designers to ideate and collaborate on different projects. So with Adobe Photoshop and Adobe Illustrator in its suite of uh, web design software tools, its popularity among designers translates to numerous tutorials and resources on the web that, you will, that will get you started. This is especially helpful when you are looking for Adobe Photoshop help with the user interface design tool. Fantastic. So what are the features you really need to pay attention to here? You have collaboration, wireframing design system, interactive pro prototypes for the web design process, you have a redesigned uh, modern user interface that's better streamlined and clutter-free. This is really cool. We love that a lot. You have access to code hints. You have multi-monitor support for Windows. You have visual aids to reduce errors and speed up site development. And you have uh, Git support. Fantastic. And uh, so what about the pros here? Good reputation as an end-to-end -end UX web design tools. You have a uh, seamless integration with the other tools. You have good performance even with large files. Fantastic. Next, I want to talk to you about uh, Wix. So when we talk about Wix, especially Wix Editor, Editor X. So Wix is a website developer's tool that allows you to design, manage, and grow your online presence based on your needs and, and specs. As a web developer, you have uh, three choices for website building. You have Wix Editor, Wix Artificial Design Intelligence, ADI, and Velo by Wix. And with Wix Editor, you get a user-friendly website builder with a drag and drop capability and a host of customizable templates that perfectly suits beginners in web design. On the other hand, ADI is an autonomous website builder that helps develop uh, an entire website after users submit their user preferences. So, but this website builder is key for YC, like YC, which is what you see is what you get with drag and drop features. So this is really cool. We love that. We love the flexibility here. And the thing here also is that uh, finally with the Velo by Wix, users get an open source uh, platform on which they can create sophisticated web development applications. And this platform is ideal with uh, for independent uh, web developers looking to create a custom website user experience. So if you need an intuitive website builder and a handy tool with an area of, of affordable pricing plans, then Wix is the platform for you. You have the choice of, of, of uh, over 500 pre-designed uh, customizable templates. This is really great. And what are the features you need to pay attention to here? So you have integrated online payments, multi-channel sales, ideal for e-commerce, SEO friendly infrastructure and tools for easily creating websites. You have built-in accessibility tools. You have free banning tools. You have analytics and reports with a design tool. So this is really great. 
So what are the pros and cons here? Pros, Wix is effortless to use, requiring no web development or coding history. You have no, you don't need to have uh, any PhD in, in programming. You have affordable pricing plan with uh, a free tools program. You have a Wix website to so have the fastest loading times in the ecosystem, making this design tool a top choice to create responsive websites. Wix is, Wix is um, SEO wizard, provide helpful advice for optimizing your website. And you have a simple drag and drop editor for amateur or seasoned web designers. What about the cons here? Well, limited customizability is available as users have to have no access to the website code. Limited functionality, thus making Wix unfavorable for users running a blog or online store, and users can't switch themes without losing their content first. I want you to look right now. Here is the pricing for Editor X as of the date of this show. Next, I want to talk to you about Marvel. And so Marvel is a fantastic app that I want to I want to share with you. And uh, with Marvel, basically the thing is that if you're looking for web design software tools that offer rapid prototyping, testing, and delivery to market, then Marvel is the tool for you. Of the website builders on the list, this tool comes with intuitive design and prototyping functionality that makes wireframing, design, and prototyping relatively fast. So design teams can instantly generate designs, specs, and connect integrations that power their design workflow. This is really cool. And with no learning curve and no web design software requirements, Marvel, in our view, is an excellent option for amateurs starting. So users have at their disposal an accessible library of templates and assets that eliminate complexity from the, the design process. So Marvel makes it significantly easier to transform a design mockup into an interactive online prototype without writing a single line of code. So this is kind of cool. So in terms of uh, the pros, the features here, you have customizable and easy to use templates across the, the, the design tool, customizable branding for different web elements, premium predefined icons that can be used in your web design. In, you also have in-text fonts that can be included with images. Really, really good. What are the pros and cons here? Pros, workflow between uh, screenshots, clean and simple user interface with auto layout, web elements, Users can send a link to the project to the clients for easy access to the prototypes. Most features are free, making it especially useful for new designers, students, and nonprofits. Web-based, so users can access the app anywhere with an internet connection. What about the cons here? Well, you have challenges creating groups within the prototype. Animation on Marvel is not as fluid as or as smooth as on other platforms. And uh, web design software has no offline options no annotation options, limited animation functionalities for web design. I want you to look right now on the screen for pricing as of the date of this show. Boss, I want to quickly remind you of today's topic. We are having a conversation about uh, the top 10 best web design tools. Number uh, eight, we have Trello. And with Trello, if you're looking for a collaborative tool for your web design tool, then Trello is the tool for you. The platform makes it relatively easy and manageable to draft emails and spreadsheets and bring together the entire team with drag and drop functions to move tasks around. Trello originally is a, is a project management tool. So this Kanban style project management software allows design team leaders to track how to each team member is doing. And the digital collaboration tool helps you sustain productivity and foster collaboration even in a, in a distributed work environment. And it could be used for web design purposes, but Trello works best as a task management solution. And so what are the features I want you to pay attention to here? The card covers, uh, the, the, the card cover that, that make collaboration colorful. You have a host of keyboard shortcuts that could be a productivity savior, advanced checklists that allow a clear map out of uh, all moving parts, you have a calendar power up to see all assigned checklist checklist items. You have Butler automations to help build better workflows. The dark mode in the Trello app for iOS and Android, fantastic. What are the pros and cons here? Pros first. You have an intuitive interface. The free plan has a lot of capabilities. You have a drag and drop editor with its with its cards. Users have both mobile and computer access. 
Users can easily create boards with ideas for design thinking, and you have multiple swim lanes that can be created to serve multiple ticket purposes. What about the cons here? Well, many features require add-ons. There is a size limit for attachable files, which might be limited in most instances. Integration with MS Teams and Google Chat can be better, and not your typical web design software, but more task management solution. I want, to, I want to show you right now on the screen. Here is the pricing for Trello as of the date of this show. I want to talk to you about number nine. We have You have a Webflow. So Webflow is kind of cool. And Webflow is a, is a new popular web building platform that features an online visual editor platform uh, which you can design, build, and launch websites from. It's really cool. The visual canvas allows you to control CS, CSS3, HTML5, and JavaScript, and translate semantic code into customized sites for the ultimate web design process. It also allows you to use the unstyled HTML elements to gain control. Further, as a user, you can leverage pre-built pieces to design complex elements, including background videos and elements, among others. What are the features you will, you will need to uh, pay attention to here? You have scroll-based animation, multi-step animation, SEO controls, activity dashboard, calendar management, campaign management, auto updates, activity tracking. So this is really cool. So what are the pros and cons here? Well, pros first. Web designers can link movements and animation to the cursor position to grab user attention. Collaboration is relatively straightforward as multiple designers can be invited to work on the same website at, at, at a time. Websites can be made more interactive by leveraging uh, display panels, models, and uh, other hidden elements. And over, you have over 20 pre-built animations and interactions that are available, making the uh, addition of features instantaneous. What are the cons here? Well, images can only be compressed manually, which can be time-consuming, and the CMS limit is still quite low on some of the plans, and you have a steep learning curve for a website builder. And here is the, the pricing for Webflow as of the date of this show. The next tool I'm going to share with you is called Design Moto. The Design Moto actually is really good because it's an all-in-one website design software solution where users can create websites and newsletters. And the, this tool works best for users looking for a tool to help create static web pages, drag and drop websites and or email templates. And so this tool also offers web designers uh, two website builders via slides and startup. So using this two builders can custom create two websites and launch them via host. This web design software uses the drag and drop, a drag and drop feature, which is very simple while also very customizable. So the, the design makes uh, the whole this design tool makes the whole process relatively hassle free. So we love that a lot. And I want to show you, it's really important to understand that at the end of the day, if you want to really uh, sort of uh, engage with your audience, you really need to be a, a little more like a sort of uh, forceful here. I want to show you right now on the screen. Here is a pricing for design model as of the date of this show. Let's quickly go through the, the overview before we close to this conversation. It's really important to understand that if you are looking for a design, like a web designer tool, you have access to a constellation of, uh, of functions, a constellation of tools. And the thing is that you want to look at things like templates, customization. You want to look at things like integration, options, interface. It's really important to understand that at the end of the day, you have to make sure that the, the tool that you are asking for, the tool that you're, you're going to have, are going to be in sync with, with your project. Because the whole thing is when we talk about templates, templates are important. What if you have templates that have no, no correlation or no connection to the specific project you're working on? So you're just wasting your time, right? So you want to make sure the tool that you, the web designer tool that you have has the templates that you, that you really need. And it has to be ready to use templates. In other words, you don't have to have like any kind of advanced web designing skills to actually use the templates, okay? You want a tool that has adequate templates as this will make it easier to begin and give you an, an idea of how your website will end up looking. Think about customization. So another feature you should be on the lookout for is customization. This feature allows you or allows your design team to adjust the web design and make it unique to your needs. Customization ensures that your website doesn't look identical to your competitors. With customization features, it's easier to work on your brand recognition and visual identity. Integrations are also important. 
because you want a web designer tool with system integration. You want a tool that is compatible with your current content management system, your CMS, because it is then it, things become then easier to import new content without compromising your site's performance. What about options? Additionally, you want to be on the lookout for web design tools that offer a host of options for fonts and graphics. This is because typography is your best bet for creating a visual identity for your websites. With plenty of options, it becomes relatively easier for you to express your style and possibly stand out. So this is really cool. And also pay attention to the interface. You want a web design tool with a simple but powerful interface because the latter saves you from a lot of headaches and loopholes, thus allowing you to solely focus on the website design instead of spending countless hours figuring out how the tool works. Okay, it has to be easy. So the UX and UI must be really straightforward. So the bottom line here is that you want to also have collaboration because you want to be able to manage your web design projects all in one place. Especially if you have uh, multiple teams, you want to have a collaborative environment where everybody can log in and still work on the, on the same project. So those are really important elements. Thank you so much for your attention. Let me quickly recap the top, our top 10 best web design tools. So number one, we have ClickUp, number two, Figma, number three, Canva, number four, WordPress, number five, Adobe, number six, we have a Wix, number seven, Marvel, number, number eight, Trello, number nine, Webflow, and number 10, Design Moto. Thank you so much. God bless you. I'll see you next time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous.